I have one dog to do. Well, actually two. I've got to go to someone's house who has an elderly Rottweiler slash German Shepherd. His name's Thomas. And cut his toenails. And then, uh... Then I got to clean up my house and get some stuff ready. We're going to roast, a, or not roast, but smoke. Rich is going to smoke a turkey. And we're having his mom and dad and probably my dad. Depending, he has to go to the skin doctor today and he might have to get some stuff cut off of his uh, head. And so he might not feel like coming out because... He'll feel uh, ugly. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see if he comes. But yeah, so it's a, it'll be a busy day. And I'm looking forward to smoking. Well, not smoking it, but eating it. It's really good. Have you ever had smoked turkey before? This is Ratchet. He is a standard poodle. A very big standard poodle. He's such a good boy too, huh? He was a very good boy, aren't ya? Yeah. He's like, can we just get this over with, please? Yes, we can. The well, last time we did Ratchet, we... Stay there, buddy. We uh, did the pom-poms on his... Around his ankles there. And now that it's snowing and that, his mom always has me shave him up to about right here. So that it looks like he has... Uh, knickers on huh, buddy? and then his mom told me to be careful well it was his dad actually because he has this bump right here it's kind of a big bump and it's from it's a uh, so I got a hand scissor that I'll probably do it first but it's uh the vet told him it's an ingrown hair so yeah those can get pretty bad I guess there is Mr. Ratchet with his knickers. His mom says that helps him from tracking snow inside all winter. <laughs> He's cute. You're handsome, huh, buddy? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Go get Poppy. Where's Poppy? Oh, you want to go home? That what? Are you telling me? We gotta wait for your dad. Okay? We gotta wait for your dad or your mom? <laughs> I know what you're saying, but it's not time yet, okay? His leash is sitting up there and he's saying, okay, we're done. It's time for me to go home. Uh, Ratchet stayed at our house a couple months ago for three weeks while his mom and dad and family went on a trip to Japan for a long time and so I think when he comes here now he's afraid that he's going to be staying for a long time. He doesn't know if his mom and dad are coming back immediately so he was just telling me <laughs> he wants to go now. Um, while he was here he his parents had told me or his family had told me not to leave things on the counter because he'll just eat them. And I, I believed him, but I just forgot. And I, he ate a whole loaf of bread that I had. One of my sourdough breads that I had done. He ate the whole thing. And he also ate a whole bunch of bananas with the pills and everything. <laughs> I'm like, his parents had told me that he didn't, he wouldn't eat the bananas, but he did. <laughs> funny um I've never had a dog like that at my house but he's really tall and big and yeah he has a big appetite
Now here's that turkey that I was telling you we were cooking. It's a 16 pounder and um, Rich has this little like injector thing so he's injected it with just butter. No, herbs, basically. Just like herbs? Herbs and some, a little bit of olive oil. Oh, okay. So he did that, and uh, now he's just going to smear butter all over it. And then he's going to put it out on the smoker, and he'll uh, keep you abreast <laughs> of its progress. <laughs> now I'm just heading to the to cut that dog's toenails that I was telling you about and then I am going to the grocery store because I've got to get salad lettuce so I can make a salad to go with our dinner tonight We got in a little bit of a rush there at the end and I didn't want to pull out the camera while my par our parents were here. But so here's the finished product on the turkey. <laughs> That's like the finished product product. Now I'm gonna um, cook the bones. I just put them in a big stock pot with water and I cook them over the stove and I make broth and then I put it in bags in the freezer and yum do you guys like the dark meat or the light meat better I love the dark meat well, I'm gonna turn this off for tonight and just cover it up so it can cool off and then tomorrow I'll put it in bags and put it in the freezer and then we'll give the carcass to our chickens Good night.